The Story of Pinocchio, 2022. Late one night in a small Italian village in 1895, Jiminy Cricket enters the home of a widowed elderly woodcarver named Geppetto, who lives with his pet kitten Figaro and his goldfish Cleo. Geppetto has completed work on a marionette based on his deceased son, which he names Pinocchio. Before retiring to bed, Geppetto makes a wish on a star. Later that night, the star magically brings Pinocchio to life, and he is soon visited by the Blue Fairy, who tells him that, if he acts brave, truthful and selfless, he can be a real boy. The Blue Fairy also appoints Jiminy the responsibility of being Pinocchio's conscience to teach him right from wrong. When Geppetto awakens and finds Pinocchio alive, he is at first shocked but becomes overjoyed. After a few days, Geppetto decides that the time has come to send Pinocchio to school. However, Pinocchio is soon approached by con artist Fox Honest John and his cat partner Gideon. Honest John convinces Pinocchio that he should live a life of fame in order to truly be a real boy when he really plans to sell him to the puppet master Stromboli in exchange for money. When Jiminy, with the help of a seagull named Sophia, convinces him to continue going to school, Pinocchio is then thrown out by the headmaster on account of being a puppet. Pinocchio decides to go to Stromboli's after all with Jiminy unable to stop him when Honest John places a glass jar over him. At Stromboli's theater, Pinocchio befriends one of Stromboli's employees, Fabiana and her puppet Sabina. Pinocchio puts on a good show for the crowd, but Stromboli locks him in a birdcage to prevent him from ever leaving. Soon, Stromboli's coach ends up freeing Jiminy from the jar, and when he enters the coach, he manages to help Pinocchio escape when Pinocchio has him reach the keys to the lock on the cage by telling lies to make his nose grow long. Geppetto, Figaro, and Cleo go out to look for Pinocchio when he fails to come home for dinner. Soon, Pinocchio is wiped up by a coach full of children driven by a charismatic coachman who is taking all the boys and girls to Pleasure Island, an island where misbehaved children are encouraged. When they reach the island, Pinocchio slowly gets disturbed by the amount of sadism the kids commit, much to the amusement of an irresponsible boy named Lampwick. When Jiminy, who got separated from Pinocchio again, makes it to the island, he soon finds out that all the boys and girls have turned into donkeys, and the coachman sells them to the salt mines with help from his fog-like henchmen. Pinocchio witnesses Lampwick get transformed himself at a billiard hall, and he and Jiminy escape the island before the coachman and his goons can get them, but not before Pinocchio gains a donkey's ears and tail. Pinocchio and Jiminy make it back to Geppetto's, but find that he's not home because Sophia gave him a flyer at Pleasure Island to let him know where Pinocchio is and that he sold all of his clocks to buy a boat to go there. While trying to find Geppetto, Pinocchio reunites with Fabiana and Sabina, who tell him that Stromboli has been arrested by the Carabinieri for the abuse of his exploited employees, and they have taken over his puppet show. They offer Pinocchio to join them, but Pinocchio declines, wanting to save his father, which makes his donkey parts disappear. Sophia pulls a rope for Pinocchio to hold out to the sea, where they soon find Geppetto in his boat. Just as they reunite, they are swallowed by a giant sea monster named Monstro. They take refuge in a giant boat in Monstro's stomach, and Pinocchio gets the idea to make him sneeze by starting a fire within him. The plan is successful, and Monstro sneezes them out, but he gives a chase that ends with him and the group crashing on dry land and seemingly killing Geppetto. Believing his father has died, Pinocchio mourns over him, and a magical tear falls from his eye on Geppetto reviving him. Geppetto then tells Pinocchio that despite being a puppet, he has proven himself to be a true boy at heart for all that he's done, and they depart for home. Meanwhile, Jiminy says in his narration that stories have been told of Pinocchio's becoming a real boy, but doesn't confirm if they're true or not, stressing that what matters is that Pinocchio has the heart of a real boy, brave, truthful, and unselfish, and that he's fully real to his loving, proud father.